Hello, and welcome back to Dragon Quest Heroes. Uh, I have figured out what's my what my camera's doing with the hotkey. It's actually resetting camera, not moving camera left. Or right, or whatever. So it's taking the left shift that's on the hotkey and ignoring the rest of it. Which is bizarre. But anyway, this story so far, Aurora has been presented with a prototype that permits her to make use of monster metals. The monsters they summon will help fend off foes. Indeed. Let us continue with the fending off of foes. Yes, Gatekeeper, I am aware. Thank you. Thank you for caring, Gatekeeper, but you really can stop asking me at this point, considering how many times we've actually left camp, but whatever. So here we are, moved very, very, very slightly from where we were last time. We're sitting ducks down here. Indeed. This is your slightly harder tutorial on monster coins. Uh, you can be attacked from three sides simultaneously. So I recommend getting some monsters of any variety as quickly as you possibly can at the start of this, otherwise you're going to have some serious trouble. So a couple of slimes are garbage, but we're going to dump them over here. For now, basically. There you go. Should probably actually like summon those on top of enemies, but either way, we're gonna head back this way. I would like some slightly better coins than what we've got, but it's you know, I can't be picky necessarily when I'm starting a mission. I wish I knew what they were casting because they do it a lot. Cold vision is so much better than it is normally, it's great. This is still amazing because it does that to enemies, which pleases me greatly. And then he finished casting after he got on Frozen Enemy. Anyway, whatever. So this side's dead. This is pretty much how I recommend you do this, or handle this in the future. Kill one side as soon as possible. It's great you. Alright, so this side's dead. We can actually probably just go ahead and... Let's run over here. And we're gonna summon two of these guys. Ow. Very rude. I hurt quite a bit. And we're going to get rid of both of these slimes because they're garbage and not actually really doing anything over here except for distracting stuff on the side we're now going to attack. Good times. There goes all of my MP and a whole bunch of my health. We also picked up a Magus Medal. Which is actually not necessarily very bad because it is ranged so it can support, for instance, we were to run back over here. A Maw Keeper has appeared. They're going to do that a lot, by the way. If we were to run back over here, for instance, we plop this guy down. Oh, oh, never mind. Let's get rid of that guy is what I meant to say, of course. Totally. Um, there's another one right there, so it's fine. Plop him down. He'll cast Sizz. And then he will provide ranged assistance to our knights. As demonstrated thusly. It's quite useful, actually. Now, your goal here is actually just to survive. You'll notice... Um, that guy brought the, uh, the, the Maul thing came back, whatever it's freaking called. The Maul Keeper and the Doom Maul, Doom Cannon came back, so. We're basically just here to live. Of course, killing these dudes isn't a bad idea because it is experience after all, and experience is generally recommended to have. Where'd he go? There he is. The other thing you can do is just kind of chill out next to the, um, thing you're supposed to be defending over here and assist yes. basically point-blank defensive systems over here. You having fun over there, Wizzo? Having a heck of a time dealing with that one guy who's not moving. There you go. But anyway, where's our, how's our dudes doing? We got Guther over there. Guther and Straddle holding the line, or attempting to, and Wizzo being useless, as you expect Wizzo to be, I suppose. In the meantime, we're being assaulted. We're being assaulted by bubble slimes. Which are very gooey. Now, if we can get one of those coins, it will do a tutorial, which we will do... 
shortly once our goo-based friend dies. We would actually just dismiss him to pick this up, but yeah, let's do that. There you go. Tutorial. It is a savior. Lights the battlefield with poisonous puddles. This is a different type of coin. We have sentries and saviors. Sentries will stand there and fight. Saviors are a one-off cast. As it will describe momentarily. It's basically a summon in a traditional RPG sense where it, it, you summon them, they do a big attack or whatever, and then they bugger off somewhere. If we run over here, oh, we can cast our savior. Let's demonstrate Dustly, and he'll leave a puddle of poisonous goo on the floor. A puddle of poisonous goo will poisonously goo things that walk over it. Now the other thing I'm gonna do is walk back over here and summon this dude. There you go. I'm starting to get a bit tired of this. You know what we could do, actually? Here we, go. we could do this. Will their onslaught never cease? I fear we may not be able to keep up. Are you sure? I believe I could possibly keep up. There you go. I told you. That thing has insane range, you didn't notice. One final push, and the day shall be ours. Indeed. One final push. Here comes the last wave. Now, if you time it right, you can actually um, cause that last wave to spawn when, like, all but one of these Maw Keepers is actually dead, thus making the fight much simpler. I'm going to de-summon this guy and pick that guy up. Picks up a hammer hood. It's a savior, unfortunately. I wish it was an actual, like century or whatever, but nope, it's a savior, unfortunately. This is a bat there. The bat is also a savior. It gives you MP, I believe. The skeleton throws his head at stuff. It's weird, I don't know, whatever. I think this dude just does a hammer. Yep, there you go. Ooh. Not very fancy, but hey. I feel quite powerful with that cold fission. It doesn't do a lot of damage, unfortunately, but I do feel quite powerful with it. I suppose it, you know, fair enough, it's a huge freaking AOE, but... You want to help me murder this dude, or are you just going to watch as I beat him to death in the corner? Somewhat violently, to be fair. No reason to have those guys. We're going to pick this guy up so we get the message about it. He is a sentry, throws his head at stuff, and then he beats them. Already seen you... You can have a lot of skeletons, by the way. They're not very good, is why you can have a lot of them. I wonder, actually. Because I've never picked up a chest on this level, and surely there is one. No, yeah, there it is. Hey, chests. I wonder if there's multiple, because this is a fairly large level. We're gonna, we're gonna spread this out, excuse me. We're gonna spread this a little bit and try and see if there's maybe another chest somewhere. Whilst that guy does whatever the heck he's doing. He is a skeleton, to be fair, he has no brain, but... Oops. You think he'd have slightly better AI than that, but now that he's walked into this circle, those guards are gonna go punch him, I'm sure. Very rudely, there is another chest. I wonder if there's yet more. This is actually a pretty nice looking game, considering... It's, uh... Heritage, I suppose, of the Dynasty Warriors games, which are not particularly pretty. It does have basic stuff, like, you know, lacking cloth physics, for one thing. There is no cloth physics. There's some basic hair physics that doesn't make any sense, but... Uh, but the uh, shadows and the textures and the models and reflections and stuff like that, those all look pretty good. I'm hoping the guards kill that guy at some point soon, because... I don't have the... Oh, there's a chest over there. The faintest idea where I am. I'm getting me some treasure, man. We're going exploring this time. That's probably all the treasure. Unless there's another one down here somewhere. Nah, that's it. Alright. Let's head back to our comrades. Oh, wait, hello. There's one right here, apparently. I was mistaken! And we can't go that way anyway. We have to go over here. A very oddly designed town, I would like to point out that this is a town. Doesn't make any sense, but... Somehow our comrades have failed to kill a single skeleton. What are you idiots doing? He's right there. Look at him. He's mocking you. 
All right, this. Oh, there they go. They're on them now. They're like raptors. They only see motion. Nothing else. Can you really not kill him? What is this skeleton freaking made of? That was a bit overkill, but what was he made of? Like freaking titanium skeleton over here. That one card game. See you. We did it. Hooray! Mission accomplished, plus a bunch of treasure. Huzzah! I never doubted you for a moment. I must install the generator. Um, and I... No, there's one more mission in this town, and then we are... where... I think there's one more mission. And then we're where I was before. So then everything beyond that will be new to me. Much as we all enjoy me being confused all the time, I'm aware, but let's go talk to this guy before we end this video. Because he sells weapons and shields and stoof. Um, let's purchase a... You know what, actually? Because we're going to get new characters soon. I think I'm going to save my money, because I haven't played the new characters. In fact, I haven't shown off any of the characters at all except for her. My apologies, we'll do that at some point. Um... I haven't played the new characters, so I think I'm going to save for potentially their weapon if I enjoy playing them. Um, I know I don't enjoy playing as Isla, so kind of negating her. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time with my very angry looking face. Probably not, though. Probably just with this screen. Thanks for watching. See you then.